In this tutorial, we will see an intro to our plugins in HitFilm. We'll start with how to download our plugins. You must be using HitFilm Pro 3 or higher. We don't work in version 2. The demo version of HitFilm does not load third-party plugins, so make sure you have a purchased version to use our plugins. First, we'll go to our website at www.revisioneffects.com. You can select the Products menu. Here you can see all our products. You can download any of them to try the demo versions for free. I'll show you how to download one, but you can do this for any of our plugins. We can download Denoise as an example. We select the Downloads menu and you will see Nuke, Fusion, Scratch, and Vegas, HipFilm, Resolve, and Natron. These are all OFX plugins. OFX stands for Open Effects. You will select the one for Vegas, HitFilm, Resolve, and Natron. Now we can go to Downloads and open the Denoise installer. You can go through the typical installation. If you want to know where the installer puts your plugin, it's here. If you want to read the manual, you'll see the PDF file in the OFX folder of the plugin you just installed. So in this case, it would be here. You can also watch our tutorials by going to help.revisioneffects.com and searching by either plugin or by host application. If we launch HitFilm, we can select New Project or choose to open an existing project. We'll select New. You can enter the project settings here and then choose either to start compositing or start editing. Note, if you choose editing, you'll notice that you can add the plugins, but you can't add keyframes to the plugin in order to animate any options in the edit mode. So if you plan to add keyframes, use the compositing option. Once inside your project, you can import your footage by choosing import. I can play the clip in the viewer. We can add the clip to our timeline, and if we want to add one of our plugins, we go to Effects, Revision Effects, and Denoise in this case. We can add it to our clip and see that the controls appear if we double click on Denoise once it's been added. With Denoise, we can get rid of noise in this clip using some of the spatial noise reduction controls. We can also use the temporal controls to actually get rid of that flash we saw when we played through the clip. We can do that by setting keyframes. Just a little side note. If we want to change the timecode to frame numbers, we can right mouse click and see a pull down menu and choose display as frames instead of timecode. Now back to denoise. We can animate the controls by ticking the toggle button that you see next to the option that you want to animate to activate it. And then every time you make a change, it will make a keyframe. If you don't see this, make sure you're in Composite and not in Edit, because remember, you need to be in Composite to animate most controls apart from the layer properties. Okay, so when I played this clip through, we saw that there was that flash. We can use the Temporal Process mode to remove the flash. We do that by animating the menu from None and the next frame to Min, where the flash is, and then the next frame back to none. There, that got rid of the flash. So here's the result without the noise or the flash. This is just an example of what you can do with Denoise, one of our plugins. You can watch the next tutorial to see more examples of our products in HitFilm.